Hey guys, hello again. So we're here with the only F104 S model airworthy in the world. Um, there's power on, electric power. There's hydraulic as well. We're gonna see a gear swings because we're doing uh, some of the final checks for this airframe um, for some functional checks for like, in the next few days. So stay tuned. We're gonna see now the engine, the landing gear swing, which is a pretty interesting thing to see and how much is complex, the system is complex to allow to fit the landing gear legs and the wheels inside the airplane because there's very little room in the airplane. The air cave is jacked up, so it's not touching down, right? And uh, we're gonna see a gear swing uh, with the 3000 PSI, two systems that uh, the aircraft has. And I'm here with Andrew, legendary AJ, um, Sean, which is the, down there, director of maintenance, AJ here, assistant and uh, lead crew chief. So here we are in the S model. We see the three green right now, landing gear level. For the purist, that light there is aileron and rudder unlimited. That means that the full travel of aileron and rudder is allowed. As you can see down there, at the aileron, so they have a full excursion. Uh, that would be when an aircraft is in flight or on the ground and it has uh, landing gear extended. So it allows for more, so the aircraft theoretically is going slower. So you need more travel to control the aircraft's lower speed. Higher speed that's limited. So when you when uh, AJ is going to retract the gear, you're gonna see that light go off. Go ahead, AJ, retract, get up. That's it, aileron and uh, rather unlimited is off, so now they are limited. So they very, uh, they travel very little, or much less, because uh, otherwise at a higher speed, there will be too much load on the surfaces. Uh, we see the red light because the uh, throttle is on the back, but if AJ goes forward, the light goes off, and obviously we have the canopy light flashing because the canopy is open. I'm gonna go down and AJ is gonna show us Actually, I want to show you from here what the swings looks like. Go ahead, down. Okay, go up one more time. It's a very complicated system to be able to fit uh, the landing gear tie, uh, wheels and legs inside the aircraft because there's very little space inside. AJ, one more time, down, down. Now, as you see, they don't move very smoothly and that's normal at this point because the mule we have, hydraulic mule outside, it doesn't provide as much uh, uh, flow of hydraulic at 3000 psi as the aircraft actually will be able to do. So that's why you see that uh, um, discontinued movement. Uh, go up, AJ. Now, one other thing you're going to see this is going to come up. You see how they turn in and they close. Down one more time. Down now. When it gets to the end, you're going to see the main actuator, they're going to rotate. That's the la the down lock when they rotate like that uh, that's the down lock uh, it's a mechanical lock that the actuators they do and as you see these main doors they stick out they stay partially open when the landing gear is down because there's not enough room when this actuator is extended uh, so they made it in a way that when uh, the landing gear is down these doors stay slightly open to allow that all right that's it thank you AJ We'll see you next time. We have something uh, a little bit exciting. Hopefully the next one will be a flight.